Hey guys, this video is about how we can create chat with PDF application using OpenAI Assistant API. Because previously I have made a video that is similar to this one, but that was using the old OpenAI API because now things are different. Previously we had to take care of our embeddings, store those embeddings, then when the user gives you input, you had to generate embeddings for them, then match it with our stored embeddings, bring a chunk of text, and so many other things. I mean, it was like a headache, okay? So now OpenAI has taken care of all of them. We are going to use OpenAI Assistant API. We will upload our files and chat with it. And I'm going to show you how I did it. And let's get started. First of all, go to OpenAI Playground to create an assistant by clicking this create button. I have it built in already, so I will click the assistant directly. So here you have to write the name, the instructions. You are a helpful assistant that answer user query only from the knowledge base file is uploaded. If you don't find the answer in the data from knowledge base, just say I don't know. And we have selected GPT-4 preview because this retrieval functionality is only available for this model at the moment. You have to make sure it is enabled. And by default, do not add any file. I have it already. Let me actually delete it and I will just save this. So this is my assistant being created. So before testing it, as you can see, this is the assistant ID. Let me copy this and let me get to the code. I have just two files that says app.py and functions.py. Functions.py file, I have my defined functions. There are only three functions and here I have hard coded the assistant ID and thread ID. We just copied assistant ID. I'll just paste it here. And now, now let's click paste. I'll say, hey. Okay, it has created a thread for me. Let's copy this. Oops. Let's copy and paste it over here. And we have got our assistant ID and thread ID, right? This simple UI is based on Streamlit. I have in the app.py file, I have this small piece of code that is responsible for this whole UI. It is just for the demo purpose, of course. I have two different conditions. One is for uploading file, how we handle the upload file. And the second one is how we handle the user's input message. So first, let me show you. I'll just go to the Streamlit application. I'll click browse file. And I am going to upload a file. So I am going to upload this file called user guide. But before uploading, let me ask, hey, what is RAS? Let's just verify if it is actually able to answer or not. Okay, so it's saying it appears there are no documents uploaded to reference for your question, RAS, and so on. I mean, in short, it does not know what's the answer because we have not given the information yet. So let me select it. I will upload this file, click read PDF, and just wait for it. Okay, so it's saying PDF reading completed. Now you may ask a question. And here I have permission error because I was playing with this file. I think it is open somewhere. So yeah, let's not worry about this. Let's refresh this. Let's go back to our assistant, which we just created. It's called second bread. And here, as you can see, this is the file. The file we uploaded is attached over here. Okay, here is the name user guide, ras.pdf. So it is uploaded successfully, right? Let's go back and ask the same question once again. What is ras? So remember, you can achieve this whole functionality using the old methods by storing the embeddings, blah, blah, blah. I'm showing you this one because it's very simple. We don't have to take care of so many things. But anyway, as you can see, the answer, Rush is a Pakistan new instance payment system, blah, blah, blah. So it is actually able to answer and the answer is actually correct, as I can see. So we can upload as many files as you want. I am not going to upload anymore. Let's just get straight to the code and let me give you the overview how it is actually working. So let's start from this section. First of all, when the user click read PDF, which means user is uploading a file. So we are calling this function called save uploaded file. In this, we have this piece of code that just saves the file locally. 
once the file is saved then we are calling this function this says update assistant knowledge base and it takes the file name of course so let's get to this function and see what's happening okay so first of all it is getting the existing files that are attached to this assistant so this line of code is responsible for that we get the file ids in form of array by the way these block of codes the, they are all available on OpenAI documentation so after having the list of files that i'm uploading a new file and appending the file ids to the array which we fetched over here and then finally we are calling this block of code that actually updates the assistant and here we are passing the array of file ids right so if you think if you are not getting what's happening in this piece of code that's because you have not watched my previous video i have made a detailed video on how OpenAI assistant api works how these piece of codes are responsible and so on so make sure to watch that but if you are getting my point just continue and stay till the end okay so you see how a knowledge base is being updated now let's go back to m.py and this block of code is done finally we are just removing the file which is uploaded here locally and then let's talk about the sending and getting the response functionality so when the user clicks send button it calls this function that says get assistant response inside this function we uh we have this thread id assistant id so let me remind you that we have hard coded the assistant id and thread id so wherever required in the code i'm just passing it from here so first of all we create a message with the role user and once the message is created we create a run and in run we also edit further instructions that says use the user uploaded file to provide answer do not answer if you couldn't find any context in the knowledge base just say i don't know so basically these instructions further ensure that whatever we told our assistant initially that he should not answer out of context it just validates it further nothing else so that i have this while loop that continuously check the status of run if the status of run is completed then we fetch the response and finally returns it again if you are not getting how this piece of code is working make sure to watch my previous video anyway let's go to f.fire file, file and okay this is it these are just two block of course and i have given you the overview i will share the code with you as well so you can play around with it and make sure to hit the subscribe button if this video was informative at all by the way on the other hand if you don't want to upload files from the streamlit it was just for a demo purpose you can just click this add button and upload as many files as you want here i have added another that says do not buy info i will just save it now if i ask about what is the dot buy it should be able to answer because i just uploaded a file using the openai playground ui okay so it's saying d.py is a youtube channel blah 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 at 50 subscribers it's lying actually i have around 950 <laughs> but it can be 1000 if you hit the subscribe button anyway thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video until then goodbye